Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana is trying um, to hold its support area down here. Yeah, we discussed it in the last video that I'm currently viewing this as a fourth wave. To be honest, I'm. Um, it could also be wave one already complete and we are now in a wave two in this consolidation. But I see it as more likely looking at the wave structure, comparing it to other coins that this year is a fourth wave. Also, we just need to look at, you know, is it is it Saturday, Sunday, you know, then we typically see a wave four. Um, it, it is what it is, honestly. And I'm currently of the view that this would rather be a fourth wave than a second wave already, which indicates we have a bit more way to go. At least it would make sense. It's a reasonable assumption. I could even argue, you know, is this yellow wave four already? Is this already yellow wave four, which fits basically this one too here? Um, the reason why this is likely is because of Fibonacci extensions. We certainly rallied high enough in this third wave to consider that. I mean, look at the target that you would normally get for a third wave that points us to 2350. Now we're already at the 2.38 Fib extension. However, looking at the proportions at the moment and um, the length of the wave two and so on, based on the substructure, subwave structure, it could even be that this third wave is still in the making. It wouldn't um, change much in the support area in terms of targets, but it's very much possible that this will escalate even higher, right? So I don't want to spook people out of positions or anything too early. I just want to say, you know, we are, if we really are in a third wave, and I did explain the higher degree targets in yesterday's video, then this can keep going, right? And we can only really get shallow corrections. So um, again, everybody needs to decide for themselves if taking profits is reasonable or not. I think it always is reasonable because there are always other entry points anywhere, everywhere else. Um, and uh, I've learned to take profits along the way. It just makes sense. But which doesn't mean that you would, you know, that, that every, selling everything is reasonable. Um, I like the split into, you know, core positions and small floating positions. Because, you know, you need to imagine, I mean, if you entered in this trend reversal area, I mean, within a few days, depending on if you use leverage or not, but even without leverage, I mean, it's moved up like nearly 20% at its peak, even 24%. And that's even measured from the top of the box. So if you bought lower in the trend reversal area, it would have been an even higher reward or return. So, you know, within a few days, it's a decent reward. And if you have leverage, it's even higher. So um, just saying, right? Um, however, at the current uh, stage, I don't consider this move up is finished. I think... Um, we are in some kind of a fourth wave at the moment, should even push higher. Now, if we lose 2269, then I would assume we are already in a wave two, even though it's not the most beautiful five wave move which happened here to the upside. And it would, yeah, it, it, it ideally, ideally looking at the proportions, we are now in a fourth wave. But again, if we lose 2269, the $21 level will become relevant. I did highlight that in yesterday's video. That would be the level where we can consider a wave two. So we've got a shallow support and a deep support, but as long as we're holding $29, $21, the overall focus can be on higher. Um, so it's certainly trying, doing a bit of an analysis of the sub wave structure, often a little bit pointless in corrective waves. Yeah, people take it for granted and then the correction does something else, which often happens because that's what corrections do. There are more than 10 um, basic corrective structures plus they even um, individual um, yeah variants. So there is one impulse, but many, many types of corrections in Elliott Wave, and they can always morph into something different. But the most basic form would be that we assume this is an A wave. We're doing some kind of a B wave triangle here and would then come down once more in a C wave, but we don't need to come down any lower. I hope that's clear because it has already entered this support area. It has already entered this trend reversal area. However, looking at the length of the wave two here, it would be reasonable to assume that the wave four might go a little bit longer. The wave two looks a bit like a flat pattern here, basically a shallow correction or a sideways correction. Yeah, you can see that. I mean, the lows are very close together. The B wave high was very high. So it looks like a flat pattern, which indicates that the wave four, due to the guideline of alternation in Elliott wave, should be a zigzag. It currently looks like that yeah basically a strong a wave a shallow b wave could be a triangle and then a c wave down maybe as an ending diagonal so i'm going to observe that for you but overall the focus can be on higher 
no change to previous videos in that um, regard. And uh, let's see if it plays out. Assumption currently would be we're in a higher degree third wave and you can see how this can eventually cascade higher. Just always need to be aware of the relevant support levels. If they break, we have to change our perspective. All right, that's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.